If you have thoughts to share about Title IX or UNM Athletics, get in touch with us here at NewMexicoInFocus.org. As Khalil mentioned, late, list, late this week, excuse me, the New Mexico Attorney General's Office recommended that UNM Board of Regents hold the meeting to vote on sports cuts again because it appears the Regents did violate that State Open Meetings Act. Our line panelists are ready to talk about this new development. I'm joined at the table this week by Tom Garrity from the Garrity Group PR. Attorney Sophie Martin is here. Zachary Quintero with a K, a UNM law student and president of the Young Democrats of New Mexico and former state senator Diane Snyder is with us as well. Now, Sophie, what are the key findings from the AG on this legal question about the Open Meetings Act? It seems so simple. The most important, the mm -hmm. most important finding, is, as far as I'm concerned, was um, that the agenda for the meeting lacked the requisite specificity. Uh -huh. So essentially the agenda said, we're going to talk about athletics. It didn't say mm -hmm. we're going to talk about cutting particular sports, about you know this this more um, controversial ultimately topic that was decided on that day. There was mm -hmm. a secondary issue that the AG's office was um, asked to asked to look at, which was whether the regions had been engaging in something called a rolling quorum, uh -huh. which is not a good thing to be doing. But the AG's office declined to, to make a decision about that. They said basically the lack of specificity in the agenda meant that they didn't have to touch on that. Mm -hmm. The reason that agendas must be specific under our open records laws is so that the public knows exactly what's going to go down at that meeting and knows right. whether they need to attend. Um, and uh, with this finding, it's, it's correctable in the sense mm -hmm. that the regents can choose, as, we, as you mentioned, to have another meeting within 15 days. What I think is interesting is the hope that seems to be springing up in the community that there will be a different outcome uh -huh. as a result of this different meeting, and that is in no way guaranteed. I am so glad you brought that up, Sophie Martin, because it seems to me, Senator, these, these folks are in a very difficult position because if you think about it, if you go through a pro forma sort of a four hour long meeting, six hours, eight hours, whatever it is, and you have these people you know, begging for their sports lives once again, but then they just go, okay, same vote as last time, 6-0, it's out, we're out the door. The community's not gonna accept that. But you can't give, but you can't tell these folks ahead of time what your plan's going to be before the meeting. You see right. the dilemma here? It's difficult for them. I, mm -hmm. I think the regents have two choices. Mm -hmm. One is they do a slam dunk, do the 6-0, out of here, see y'all later. Okay. Which, as you say, I think the community would be very, very concerned about uh, because it just shows the issue of rubber stamping mm -hmm. uh, of, of, and I think then it brings into play the rolling quorum, mm -hmm. the fact that they had all discussed it ahead of time mm -hmm. and made their decision That's right. or apparently That's had right. done so. That's right. The second option I think they have is, and this is the issue of the recent report that the athletic department ended up in the black, the fiscal year in the black. Mm -hmm. Well, if you go ahead and read, you understand why they got money transferred from the the main campus funds, right. and they got a share of the sale from the Mesa del Sol monies. Mm -hmm. So they did; those are one-time appropriations. They did not end up the year in the black, but the regents could take that information mm -hmm. and say, oh, we ended in the black, this gives us time, we can look at this mm -hmm. again, and they put it off for a year. Right. So I think they've got two ways to go. Follow up on that, Tom. There's an opening there. The senator is describing a little crack of sunlight here. Is, is it viable that the, the regents could find a way to back up here and say? It's justifiable. Okay. I wouldn't say it's viable. Gotcha. Um, you know, the, a large part, about $800,000 plus, mm -hmm. of the investment that uh, helped to get the UNM Athletics Department into the black was as a result of a purchase of Mesa del Sol property by Steve Chavez, UNM alum, who happened, by the way, to be the same Steve Chavez who was uh, with Wise Pies and, uh, and a, a very big support supporter of UNM. That's so right. uh, that is a one-time shot. Mm -hmm. It is not recurring. It mm -hmm. is not everlasting. It is one time. And so I think from a budget perspective, uh, it might provide that glimmer of hope, but it's right. really, it's not, it's not smart business. I got to get your take on the rolling quorum thing as well. I'm, I'm still sort of stuck on this because I'm feeling their pain, the regents here a little bit, because if you, I, I have to say again, if you don't hint at what your thing is going to be, it's going to be very unfair to a lot of people who are walking in thinking they have a chance 
-hmm. at some kind of rescue here. Do you see what I'm getting at? How, do you, how does one signal that this is not a possibility while well, like you're you know, in trouble again? Yeah, it's well, if you're, if you're a regent, you just keep your head down and right. you keep your mouth shut right. uh, until the actual meeting occurs. Uh, let everybody speculate that needs to speculate. If you're President Stokes, uh, you try and find the next issue and start right. talking about what that next <laughs> issue is be, to get people off of this conversation. That's right. But if you are the community, you're wanting to know what on earth were you thinking, yeah. regents, yeah. Uh, when you made this decision? Right. Uh, where was the oversight? And so all this does, is it, unfortunately, it does not appear that there will be much discussion if there is another vote taken. Mm -hmm. you, you have UNM who's saying that there was plenty of transparency. Right. And you have the attorney general who takes a counter position. Right. Uh, but it's still you have that wound of those athletic programs, the students specifically, right. and the lack of community input that will unfortunately really tarnish the university, at least in the short term. That's a good point there. Zach, again, your sense of this, if, you know, I was yeah. reading John Garcia's quotes, he was uh, the fellow that's a real booster of the ski team uh, that has been cut. He, you know, he was instrumental in finding the private funding when the first cut Absolutely. came a couple yeah. years ago. Took the venture on his own. E exactly right. And now I see him, as I read, that he sees a little bit of daylight here to rescue the ski team. Is he leading? His folks to a bad result here? Should we just accept and just? I think he's on? hoping. Um, okay. I, I agree with Tom that it's a, it's you know a, a form of not a, like this is foolproof. You're going to have a shot at this, but it, there's some kind of daybreak in the sense of saying right. the community is going to be able to analyze that there was no oversight or transparency with the first decision. So you're going to get another crack at it. You're going right. to be able to look at this, mm -hmm. and hopefully the regents understand the power of their decision on this because you know the Lobo community deserves that kind of an answer. They deserve to know um, not only have they deserve to not only have fair notice, but they deserve to know exactly what went into the decision making on right. that. Is it your sense that you know folks who or, or, or sensing a possibility here? Let's kind of take a positive sure. approach here. Um, Mo Maestas, a number of other legislators have right. called for a pullback and said, look, we've got a little bit of money now in the legislature. We might be able to, right. you know, do something here. Is this is this 15 day a window an opportunity to get something like that to the surface? Well, I wonder how yeah. it would be done. I don't know how yeah. they would transfer that money to begin with. I think right. they'd have to call some kind of a special session and get within like five hours something across both you, chambers or something. Can you imagine right. a special session on UNM athletics? I could. <laughs> I think the electorate would lose their mind. Actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to. The, the the cut is not until next fiscal year. Gotcha. Right. So good point they 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 have a sixty so day do. session coming up. A yeah. new governor. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have to do a special. They could, okay. and trust me, they're not going to do a special on yeah. athletics. On athletics. Right. Right. No, at fifty thousand dollars a day. Yeah. For, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. But still, right. you you examine what some yeah. of the, the you know the policymakers in the area were saying. You know, you could have just asked for help. Right. I, also want to just emphasize that in the sense of saying, you know, how th was this decision not only made, mm -hmm. but what went into the specific details of saying this program, you know, budgets are a reflection of our priorities. Right. And this is what this comes down to. Right. So I want to know where the decision Interestingly, was in that interview priorities. with the, uh, uh, Mr. Nunez and the Title IX folks and stuff, Martha mm -hmm. Burke, Burke threw on the table the idea that football is in fact, uh, Senator, a drain. When you really look at it, it's not the money maker we think it is, it's subsidized. Uh, that conversation is still yet to be had. Is that a possibility in a state like New Mexico that can be a little bit football crazy? Uh, I don't think mm -hmm. that discussion will ever be front and center. I think it's right. a discussion people don't want to have. Gotcha. And I think as long as they can find other methods, like the transfer of funds, uh, the only thing that worries me about that transfer of funds for Mean Campus, does that not then end up possibly in an increase in tuition or fees? I hope for so. Or impacting academics. Right. Right. Impacting right. academics. That's right. That's right. So, so there's a, but what I yeah. see is, be, which Representative Maestro has said, is there's money. Well, come on, Mo. Right. There's money this coming year, but, does anybody remember two years ago when there wasn't money? That's right. And so it's when you you have to think long term and thank heavens for John Arthur Smith. We'll mm. have somebody mm -hmm. looking at the long term here is what we're going to spend. <laughs> so I would say, you know, the 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 legalities of, of open meetings aside, mm -hmm. um, everybody knew this was coming. There isn't a legislator out there who didn't know that the plans were being put together. Very In fact, point. I think many of them demanded it, that plans be to put together to, to write the financial ship yes. for this academic, uh, this uh, athletics department. Mm -hmm. So to say you could have asked is a little bit like, where you been? 
right? Because this has been, they've had, what is it, eight years of that's deficits right. over the that's past right. 11? That's right, yeah. that's right. This should not be a surprise to anyone. Yeah. Now, that particular meeting, mm -hmm. I'm also not sure that, that people were taken by surprise that the vote happened at that meeting. I, it seems to me um, that the athletics department and, and really the, the regents made the mistake of addressing the, the agenda, handling the agenda in, inappropriately, but that presentations were made, mm -hmm. um, activism occurred. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not entirely a surprise that we got to this point. Um, it's that, it, so what's amazing to me, I shouldn't say amazing, but what's mm -hmm. interesting to me is it's a crisis now because a decision was made, but we knew that crisis was coming. That's right, yes. that's right. Even if you think back, we have to wrap this up. Even Paul Krebs a few years ago, if you think about it, was calling for cuts. You know yes. what I mean? He saw what Absolutely. was coming. And we have our differences with, you know, Mr. Krebs, but mm -hmm. it's been out there. Sophie makes a yeah. good point. It's been out there. We'll have to wrap that. When we come back to the line, we'll talk about a lack of transparency at the spaceport.